the u s. army has now launched an investigation into private travis keen, the u s. soldier from fort bliss who crossed into north korea earlier this week. nbc's matt bradley reports. tonight, north korea is once again threatening nuclear escalation. announcing through state media that american arms in south korea, quote, may fall under the conditions of the use of nuclear weapons. but when it comes to private travis king, not a word. We don't know his condition. We don't know um, where he's being held. We don't know um, the status of his health. I worry about him, frankly. Christine Warmoth, the Secretary of the Army, told NBC's Courtney Kuby that the U.S. is trying to reach the North Koreans through the United Nations. I don't think that we have successfully made contact. King, who finished high school three years ago in Racine, Wisconsin, had legal trouble while serving in South Korea. Just before he fled to North Korea, King spent nearly two months in a South Korean prison after declining to pay a fine for damaging a police car, according to a court document. Past instances of Americans in North Korea don't bode well for King. In 2016, Otto Warmbier, an American student, was detained in North Korea for more than a year. He was released to the U.S. in a vegetative state and died shortly after. Warmbier's father now worried for King. He willingly ran across the border. That makes him quite a bit different from your son. Absolutely. But now that he's there, the facts are exactly the same. Mm -hmm. They're going to hold him hostage, and they're going to use him as a political prisoner. Now the Biden administration must decide how to help a soldier who officials say willfully created a crisis. Mm. Matt Bradley, NBC News. Shalom, shalom. Kohalo, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Let's give it all praise to the Most High. And name is only begotten Son. In the name of the Holy Spirit, my name is Ibar from the prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us the truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the whole folk scattered abroad. There is no place for a black man in a white man's army. Or there is no place for a black man in a white man's war. Okay which we know that we ain't black, we're really, you know, the biblical Hebrew Israelites, which are the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Indians. And these people aren't white, they are Esau, Edom, okay? The biblical Edomites. And, um, you know, they start these wars and they have these wars going on. And Jake find themselves, you know, in, in this military, call themselves fighting for, for their country, when really this is not your country. And these people hate you, you know? So I don't know what the hell Jake had going on, but he was bugging the hell out, you know, over the fucking shit up and... They arrested him, and he was in he was in the South Cor 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 Korean jail, you know. And then he fled into North Korea, you know, because he knew that America was going, you know, he knew America was going was going to fuck him up. And for whatever reason, he 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 went over to the South Korea, which you know they like they showed you the Edomite guy, which they may have a little more leniency on Jake, but the Edomite guy came back in a vegetative state, man. You know, it reminds me of the Vietnam War. When you had the Viet, the uh, the, the uh, Vietnamese dropping flyers during the war, and then they were saying, "Soul boy, soul boy, this is not your war," talking to the Afro, um, the African, so-called African American soldiers. This is not your war. This is not your war. Go home. Go home. You know. And if they capture the whole pl 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 platoon, they will let the jigs go. You know. That's why you got some some, some of those some of those women over there. You know, had bare Jake children, which is why you got Israelites in uh, Vietnam. You know, same thing in these other countries. When Jake go go to these other countries, the fighting wars and stuff, they be over there making babies, man. But this is showing you that you got you got to get a bit of they, 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 they was doing something, Jake. You know, Jake make Jake, Jake was bugging out. You know, it's a lot of shit going on. You know, but let's grab this Deuteronomy chapter 17 verse 15. Thou shalt in thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom Yahweh thy power shall choose. And the Lord have not chosen these heathens to be set as king over us, man. Now, now we're under in, in captivity to them today, but that don't mean you, you know, go, you know, worshiping, you know, and being a part of these other nations. It says, "For uh, one from among thy brethren shalt thou set king over thee." So you shouldn't be looking to to, to the Edomites, you know, or or, or, or the so-called American president to be a king over you, man, you know. And that's what you're fighting for. It says, "Thou mayest." not set a stranger over thee which is not thy brother so J jacob go fighting these, in these wars thinking that they fighting with their brothers and you know the, the you know they're fighting for their country nah man you are fighting for the, the the interests of these global elites okay and if you go over there you know you 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 you, you, you only going to die for the interests of these global elites 
All right, so let me just grab this right here because if you be joined onto this place, man, the Lord's going to judge you. Okay, there was no getting out. There was no getting out of that. It says, um, Isaiah chapter thirteen, verse fifteen. Every one that is found shall be thrust through. So if you found with this man, you know, with, with you know, with, with a damn American flag waving in your front yard or your backyard, or or you in a picture of an American flag, you gonna be thrust too. You gonna die with this man. It says, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. So if you join unto them, they're going to fall by the sword, man. You know that when the Lord come back, these people are, are going to try to make war with Yahweh Shai. You know, so, hey, when you know that time comes, you and, you and a military, they're going to send you up there in a the damn fighter jet to go make war with your own God. And obviously, you don't know who your God is because you and the, you know, you and the American damn military. If you knew who your God was, you won't, be, you won't be in that military. All right, it says their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes, their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. So that's the judgment that's coming to these uh, Edomites and you know these other nations and even you two third Jakes, man. You know, and, and, and you you don't want to join unto that. Okay, trust and believe me. Okay, trust and believe me. Let's grab this right here. I'll close out with this right here. I made it too long. I gotta get back to work. But um, you know. Trying, trying to side with this damn devil um, is, is not a good look. Okay, it says Proverbs chapter 11, verse 21. Though hand join in hand, y'all buddy buddies, y'all y'all in agreement. You know, the scripture says, can two walk together lest they be agreed. So if you if you and this man war, if you, if you sign them contracts, that means that, that whatever this man is doing, you 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 are signing on to that, man. You know, and this man has done a lot of wickedness, especially to these other countries. It says the wicked shall not be unpunished. So they ain't going to be unpunished. Okay, so if you want to join hands with them, when they get punished, you'll be punished too. It says, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. The seed of the righteous, the seed of the elect shall be delivered, man. All right. It says, um, Proverbs 16, verse 5, everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination unto Yahweh, which is the spirit of miracle pushes. Though hand join in hand, she, he shall not be unpunished. So, yeah, man. You know, America try to make ties and friends and allies with certain countries and stuff, you know try to save themselves but hey there's no matter what they're gonna be destroyed man you know and you jakes that go over there trying to you know um you know because you know like they see in the world you know join the damn winning team because you know for the most part america has been winning you know um but that, that's not for long okay america's about to be thrown down all right so you're trying to join the winning team when they get judged you will be judged with them there is no there's no reason why any of you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Indians should, should be go trying to fight in the army, in the military of your oppressors, you know, thinking that they got your, or, or Jake do it for a fucking c c c c Camaro. Jake go over there and serve these motherfuckers and get treated like shit, still get treated like niggas, you know, hazing going on and shit, you know, so understand what you're a part of, man, and understand that you first gotta know who you are, all right, but our people, our people, majority of these Jakes, they wholeheartedly think that they are Americans. They think that they are, you know, they, they, they're the Babylonians. And for the most part, they are, you know. They think God gonna bless America. Look at this, land of your captivity, man. Scripture says we are yet this day in our captivity and subject unto payments. So all you doing is fighting for your slavery and you fighting to, to push slavery on other nations, you know, by this man, you know. Look what happened in Iraq and Afghanistan. They fucking bombed that shit to hell, man. They bombed it to hell, and they told it was weapons of mass destruction over there when it wasn't. But it was gold, it was poppy uh, seed, you know. So they, so, so they, 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 they using you to pretty much help to help, you know, them, you know, destroy the earth, man. Wait a minute, one second, so lucky. I'm gonna grab one more. Like the whole 911 thing, it was, it was a huge inside job, man. You know. Let, 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 let me grab this before I go. Uh, this is how this man got everything he got, man. Okay. It says, uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter 10, verse 8. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by the seat, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. And this is how this man got into power. Okay, he has gotten everything through uh, wickedness and unright um, the unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by the sea. So he said it was weapons of mass destruction over there, and they went over there and didn't find no weapons of mass destruction, but they were leaving with truckloads of gold and pot, and it was, was garden poppy fields. You American troops over there guarding poppy fields, man. 
Okay, America will have to answer for that. If you was a part of it, you have to answer for that too. With that being said, I'm going to say Shalom, Kamesh, Allah, the Bible ball. When the Lord come back, it ain't going to be no, oh, just following orders. It's going to be, oh yeah, you fucked up and you sided with the enemy. Shalom, Kamesh, Allah, the Bible ball.